The green sea turtle is an amazing creature. It plays an important part in marine ecosystems around the world. Several populations of green turtles make their home in the Red Sea, where they spend most of their lives feeding on algae and seagrasses in shallow coastal waters. But once about every three years, the turtles undertake an extraordinary migration. Throughout the Red Sea, the turtles are drawn back to the same beaches where they were born, often traveling hundreds of kilometers to make the journey to these nesting grounds. The destination of many turtles is Zabargat Island, a small rocky island off the coast of Egypt that has been used as a sea turtle nesting ground for thousands of years. In ancient times, Zabargat Island was an important source of semi-precious gems, and was mined extensively by several civilizations. However, today the island and surrounding waters are protected from human encroachment as a satellite island of Elba Protectorate in Egypt. The regional importance of Zabargat Island to green turtles is well known, and now a recent study by researchers at Indiana University Southeast and the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency indicate that its importance may extend to green turtles throughout the entire Red Sea. The scientists tracked four turtles as they migrated from Zabargid back to their respective feeding grounds. Their goal was to determine how far the turtles had migrated to reach Zabargid and where their feeding grounds were located. The first turtle, Fayed, migrated 140 kilometers from Zabargid to her feeding grounds within Elba Protectorate proper, remaining in Elba for the majority of her migration. She represents one of the many regional turtles that never leave the Egyptian waters near Zabargid. The second turtle, Neda, traveled away from Elba Protectorate, stopping in the nearby Wadi Gamal Protected Area. Neda appeared to be another regional turtle, like Fayed. Yet some green turtles make more than one migration after nesting, using certain areas as rest stops before reaching their final destination. Though Neda remained in Wadi Gamal for nearly four months, the park was only a rest stop for Neda, and soon she began migrating again, this time towards Saudi Arabia. Neda entered Saudi waters after only a few days, becoming the first international turtle in the study. Unfortunately, her transmitter failed while she was still traveling off the coast of Maka province. The third turtle in the study was Rashida. Though Rashida remained in Egyptian waters throughout her migration, she was not confined to the regional waters near Zabargat Island. Rashida traveled north from Zabargat 550 kilometers before reaching her feeding grounds in Gamsha Bay, a rich area but plagued by recent oil spills. During the time that Rashida was tracked in Gamsha, there were at least six oil spills. The fact that Rashida remained active in the area after these spills shows a remarkable ability to survive in such harsh circumstances. But the long-term effects of these spills are still unknown. When the lasting effects of such pollution are severe, feeding areas can become burial grounds. The study's last turtle, Salim, proved to be the most adventurous international traveler. Migrating over 940 kilometers in only 25 days, Salim's journey took her from Zabargid through the waters of three countries, Egypt, Sudan, and Eritrea, finally ending in the waters north of the Dalak Archipelago. Salim's journey illustrates the great distances these turtles can migrate, and provides evidence that Zabargid Island has more than just a regional importance. Based on this study, we can see that green turtles from at least four Red Sea nations use Zabargat Island as their nesting grounds. From this data, it is not unreasonable to assume that green turtles from throughout the Red Sea, from all seven Red Sea nations, regularly migrate to Zabargat to nest, making the island a type of mecca among the Red Sea green turtles. Such importance makes it vital to maintain the protection of Zabargat Island but also means that full protection of the turtles will require extensive multinational cooperation. Such complete protection of the turtles' nesting grounds, feeding grounds, and migration routes will likely be difficult to achieve, 
but until then, we should be thankful for at least the protection of areas like Zabargat Island. For without this protection, the green turtles of the Red Sea would likely diminish.